What is going on guys, it's Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Blightfall. Now last time we left off, we were working some more on the, uh, the purity focus. Like, we upgraded it, and we finally, like, started dibble dabbling in other upgrades for our other, uh, Wanfo guy. So, I, I guess what we're gonna do now is just wait for this thing to recharge, I guess? And, uh, then I guess we can flip the lever and let it continue, like, supplying V to this table over here, the focal manipulator. But... Since last episode, which has been about a week ago or so, I've done a lot of tank cleaning. Not too much of it with this wand, though. This is just mainly for uh, cleaning up small areas between where the ship has been. But let me go to the Jaded, and we can scan the area, and we can figure out <laughs> just how much tank... Because I've done a lot of tank cleaning. Just on and off, just whenever I was kind of bored and stuff. Of course, I didn't record it because it just literally just be me sitting there not doing anything, not even saying anything because there's nothing to talk about while we wait for the ship to clean the areas. But I've cleaned all these islands over here, these three like archipelago or whatever they were called over here in the quest book. What are they called? Uh, geologists? No, that's not it, right? The colonists. Here we go. Let's see. Where are those islands at? I think. Ooh, I get another uh, thing for killing skeletons. Nice. Plus six mission outlook, don't mind if I do. Plus seven for that, for killing tentacles and spork- uh, I almost said spore crawlers, but we're not playing Starcraft. Uh, taint spore swarmers. Uh, we got those bad boys. But, where is this Ar archipelago thing? I think it's, uh... Where is it? I don't know where it is. Is that it? That's the swamp bay. Yeah, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna have to wait a little while. And uh, figure out exactly how much progress we've done. So I'm just going to hit that. It's going to start scanning the area. And you can see I completely cleaned this island right here. This floating island. The volcano island is completely cleaned now. Oh, right as I say that, a little bit of taint is just appearing right there. <laughs> so I, know, uh, I might need to take the ship back over there. As well as like clean up this little corner where there's a little bit of underground taint that's kind of on that beach over there. But uh, I cleaned all these islands over here clean this little, like, beak or whatever that is of this, like, dodo-looking thing. <laughs> clean that little beak. Uh, I've even cleaned up over here a little bit, as well as over here where the mountains are a bit. So I've gotten a pretty good amount of uh, progress done. I do still need to, like, clean the the head of the dodo or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> There's still a lot of taint that needs to be cleaned up up here, but uh, not too much of it up there where the ice is, because I don't think ice can be, like, tainted and whatnot. So I think we're good up there, but... There is a pretty good amount of land that I've cleaned up since then. So I think I'm gonna pause the recording, wait for this to continue uh, scanning the area, and I guess I'll see you guys here in a bit. And we can check up on our progress here with a detaintification in Blightfall. <laughs> I'll see you guys here in a second. All right, guys, I'm back, and check it out. There is so much stuff. We even 100% I think the archipelago. I think that's an island with, like, water waves coming out of it. I think we 100%ed it. Which isn't too hard to believe because they were pretty easy. They only took like maybe one or two ship like cleansings of ship movements for me to clean like one island. So uh, that took a little while, but it, it was a lot easier than maybe going across the plains area over here, you know, because they're so small. Anyway, speaking of plains areas, as you can see, uh, I've cleaned all that up pretty well. Didn't do any progress up here. Still need to clean up that little, like, well, I guess it was like some sort of underground area that has some taint. I even cleaned up over here where the mountains are. It looks like there's a little, tiny little strip right there. Maybe a little bit right here at the corners where there's a little bit of taint that I might have gone a little bit too far outside of the bounds. It didn't overlap my uh, taint cleaning. Uh, there's a little bit of areas that I need to clean up. Of course, over here in the water, it's completely cleaned here in the swamp. Except for over here, of course. <laughs> the Swamp Bay hasn't completely cleaned up just yet. But, uh, I'd say we got some pretty good progress done. Here's that village where we took the, uh, the Blight Busters and kind of cleaned that up, like, I don't know how many episodes ago, 2030. And that's where we have the, uh, what's it called? The Gaia Ritual. That's where we have that thing going as well. I don't know what I want to start cleaning up next. I, I definitely do need to start cleaning up the rest of the land over here as well. As the land down here, but I, I was thinking maybe I can continue... Clean the floating islands, like maybe clean this island next, and then all the floating islands that would be 100%ed. Uh, the volcano isn't 100%, surprisingly. What am I missing over here? Is it, uh, maybe it's like this little cave area, that little cave area, that little cave area, maybe, or maybe that little strip of taint that's like right there. Maybe that's what's preventing me. Okay, I pr <laughs> probably need to take the ship over there, but we do have a few. Ooh, did we 100% something? Ooh, we 100% the swamp. Or the... What is that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, wait, that's the Mushroom Island. Yeah, we've had that. And we 100... I guess 100% of the swamp. Although there is, like, a pixel right there that's kind of missing. 
while on the mushroom island it's completely filled up so I don't know why that's like blinking like that unless it I, I don't know <laughs> anyways let's check this there we go we have 100% archipelago we have uh, swamp bay uh, silver silver forest savannah bronze which I think is brand new I think I'll take the uh, archipelago bronze silver and uh, gold just in case I don't have those just yet we have the volcano silver bronze uh, is there anything else? Oh, bronze jungle. Ooh, bronze jungle and silver jungle. Not bad. Bronze West Ocean badge. <laughs> That's pretty good. Getting the whole entire ocean cleaned up like that. Not bad at all. Silver mountains. And hopefully we have enough uh, item frames for actually hang these bad boys up and start showing off our tankly. I'm going to have to dig out that area, make it a bit bigger so I can actually hang these, uh, these things up a little bit better. Because I'm starting to run out of room over here, you know? Also starting to run out of uh, item frames. Did I say paintings? Item frames. <laughs> Anyways, Volcano. Yeah, we did 100% that one just yet. Did we ever get the Ar Archipelago? I don't think we did. We have the Silver Mountains, so Here's the West Ocean. Which uh, I guess we'll start digging back here and making this place a little bit bigger. Let's grab... Probably need to start organizing this a little bit better as well. Because I think it's just kind of randomly shrewned about like that, you know? <laughs> so I need to definitely... uh. Like, maybe put... I don't know. Maybe on one side I'll have, uh... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how I'd organize it, to be quite honest. <laughs> Let's just get the hammer. Let's start extending this out a bit. But yeah, look at this. Looking pretty good. All I need to do now is get some of the extra torches I have laying around, and, uh... How'd I space this out? I think I... I don't know. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then boom. One, two, three, four, and then boom. I do the same thing. I think I did the same thing over here, right? No, no, no. I put them like right across from each other. There you go. And ba boom. All right. So now we have to do the free. This actually looks cool, though. The wand focus like looks some some sort of like it legitimately looks like a scepter. <laughs> like some sort of king is going to be holding this scepter. He's going to be ruling the land. But instead, I'm just ruling the cobblestone, telling the cobblestone to melt and turn the smooth stone. <laughs> Anyways, I think we're good here. I don't know how many item frames we have though. Let's go check here in a second. And then I suppose I can go uh, do some of the upgrades that you guys left in the comments down below. Do some of the upgrades to the, uh, what are they called? Wand folk guy that you guys left in comments. Is this still, this is still smelting wood? Man! Man, we have an absolute da 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 of wood. Jeez, anyways, let's get ourselves, what do we need? Leather? We need leather. We do not have leather. Actually, I think we have a lot of cows over here, right? So I should be able to mate these cows, kill their parents, <laughs> and they'll drop some leather for me, right? That's not like Ark Survival of the Vaults, where you can just kill them using a certain thing, and they'll be able to drop, uh, like, like it's Ark Survival of the Vaults, you'll kill something with, like, an axe, and it'll drop, like, hide. That's what I'm kind of thinking here with the cows, if I, if I killed it with, like, an axe, it drops some, uh, some more leather, but nope, yeah, it doesn't seem to be working that way. Let's see if we, nope, we don't have any wheat in there. I think we might have wheat in this chest. Yes, we do. Let's meet all the cows, and put up the extra dash site, the seat day, and dirt. Hashtag, dash site, and dirt. Or, the seat day, and dirt. I don't know, that's stupid. I'm just purposely mispronouncing Dasite. Alright, let's multiply the cows. And then I guess I'll kill all the cow parents and leave all the <laughs> This sounds so evil when I say it though, jeez, but it's the truth. I'm gonna kill all their parents, jeez. <laughs> oh, there it goes. You guys are gonna meet your children before... Before you'll never meet them again. Rest in peace, rest in, rest in, rest in peace. Man, I wish, <laughs> I wish you could kill these cows like the, like the way the, the slaughterhouse thing did. Where it only kills the adults. I thought, I, I wish it'd be like an easier way, like maybe some sort of way of blocking, killing calves and stuff, you know, that'd be really cool. But we do have a lot of beef, an absolute ton of beef, not bad. Still have a lot of little calves left over though. Am I going to joke? Oh man, I, I do feel bad that I killed their parents, but uh, it's for the greater good. For me to display my achievements on the wall. <laughs> they literally lost their lives so I can actually display my medals on the wall. <laughs> now that I think about it, I'm an absolute savage. Uh, anyways, let's go. How much ladder we get? 21, actually. Huh, 9 plus 10. Let's get ourselves some sticks. And I keep on getting comments every time I do that meme where people legitimately think I'm. <laughs> that I think that 9 plus 10 equals 21, but that's just a meme, folks. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Let's get ourselves some. Uh, what are we looking for? Wood? Jungle wood? Do we have a lot of jungle? Uh, we have a lot of oak wood planks. Let's just get that. Get an absolute ton of sticks. Because we're going to need a lot of sticks to make a lot of item frames. 21 item frames. I don't know how many that's going to 
require informs of sticks, but uh, there we go, 21 iron frames. Guess we have enough now. All right, well, let's keep lighting the walls here with all of my great achievements <laughs> using the skins of fallen cows. <laughs> oh my god, it's terrible. I guess I could actually uh, use the entire wall instead of just this middle block. Probably getting some comments about that saying, hey, why don't you use the whole entire wall instead of just the middle block, hey, duh. But uh, I guess I never really thought about that, did I? Anyways, let's just grab these. I could probably uh, save a little bit of space back here as well. Let me grab all the empty ones. I guess I'll save that one for whatever I get uh, gold on all the... Actually, yeah, how am I going to... I guess I can get some... Do I have glowstone? Some sort of glowstone? I do... Ooh, not bad. Okay, let's use glowstone. Let's put it here on the roof. Put it here. Let's put it where the torches used to be. And now I'm breaking... Uh, I know I'm breaking dirt with a pickaxe, but... <laughs> I don't want to waste any time getting a shovel out to do that when it takes like pretty much the same amount of time anyways just kind of rambling on right now for no reason let's get rid of those get rid of the torches now it's nice and lit up and we can start uh placing my achievements on the wall all fully on the wall actually instead of just one block in the wall <laughs> let's grab the uh there you go grab those and i guess it'd be a little bit easier to figure out where to put stuff so i guess i could start it here two three one two three one two three one two three I guess I could start over here now. One, two, three. Whoops. I accidentally placed that down. Whoopsie daisy. But I think I'm good right now. So let's see. Let's grab the stuff. We have the bronze jungle. We can start placing these down, I suppose. We can put, uh, I guess, gold here that way. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. I'm just using my imagination. But that way, in case anyone comes here and discovers my base, they'll see, oh, they'll see the gold first. They'll be like, whoa, we got gold in the jungle. Not bad. Or should I put this one? I guess I could put this one here. There you go. I don't even care. I have nice hair. See a little bit of food. And now we can go work on the, uh, the other one. Folk guy that you guys are probably leaving comments about for last episode. Anyways. I guess we can go flick that lever and see how it's doing. Let's see. How's it doing on all the prime aspects? Uh, yeah, it seems like water. Aqua is the only one that's not very high. We have Ignis at 5. Ordo at 9. Air at 14. Bricio at 12. 47 for Terra. Probably getting uh, a lot of Terra from all the, I guess, like grass maybe? I don't know, but I assume if I hit the switch, it's going to get rid of the Tudum and it's going to get rid of the uh, Tenebre. And maybe... <sighs> I don't know what it's doing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. Everything's going to zero. I hope I didn't break anything, but now it's getting powered up. Now it's getting energized. And I guess it's going to go all the way to zero. Everything's going to go to zero, maybe? Except for the prime aspects. And then those will start going up, maybe? Here in a bit, hopefully. Hmm. Might have to pause the recording and wait for these to go. I probably should have done that while I was doing that stupid metal thing on, on the wall, but... Yeah, I don't know. I might, uh, I'm going to go check you guys' comments, actually, real quick and see what you guys have to say. <laughs> see if I accidentally broke something here, but uh, anyways, go to pause the recording real quick. And I'll see you guys here in a bit. Hopefully I didn't break anything. And if not, then I guess we can come back and hopefully <laughs> keep customizing some of these Wanfo guys. So, I'll see you guys here in a bit. Wait, did you guys just see that right... Right whenever, uh, I guess that means it's energized. Right whenever I stopped the recording, it did this little do, and then it stopped doing the, uh, little electri electricity, and look at that. Pretty shows at three, Ignis at three, uh, Terra at six, Aqua at three, everything. Oh, look at that. Okay. So what you guys wanted me to, uh, upgrade, I think I have to get my, where's my pouch? Focus pouch. There it is right there. You guys wanted me to keep upgrading the, uh, the purity focus. I think someone actually did the math in the comments and said, hey, if you do the, uh, the frugal one, it's not, like, worth it or something. It's probably better to have it be bigger and larger, you know? Ooh, 24 levels for that one. Ooh. Do we have 8 air, 8 ordo, and 8 terra? 8 air? No, we do not. We don't even have... Terra's the highest one. We don't even have enough just yet. Hmm. We might have to wait a while, around a little while until we get that, but 9 hells, I think... Was one? Yeah, I think if you get to uh, nine hells upgraded, you can get more bats or something. I think I'm not 100 percent sure. Potency increases the damage or strength. Yeah, I think that's the one that gives you more bats, and that's kind of cool. Or hell bats or whatever they're called, whatever the technical term is. So that's kind of cool. I don't know if I want to upgrade though. How much would that cost? Eight levels, and then it'd have six Terra, two Pretty Show, four Ordo, four Ignis, six Aqua, two Air. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth it, you know? I think I'd rather have this one at 888 and probably just wait around a little while and see if this, like, 
regenerates all the way up to 888 for everything, you know? I don't know how I can increase that. I might have to do a little bit of research. Because we don't... It doesn't seem to be moving. Still, everything's at 33333, three, 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 except for Terra that's at 6. So, maybe I'll put water next to this and it'll suck up the water essence or something. Or maybe put a fire next to it. Or I don't know. Maybe I'll go do a little bit of research and read you guys' comments, like I said. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys here in a bit. And I suppose we'll do some uh, some upgrades here. So, I'll see you guys here in a second. All right, guys, I'm back. And I did a little bit of research, just minimal research, and I think we're fine with this Aura Node or Energized Aura Node right now, as it is. I think we could use it right now to upgrade our Purity Focus, even though it requires a 8, 8, and 8. Even though these are only 3, 3, and 6, I think? Terra, you need Terra for that? Yeah, you do. So I, I think we just hit Start Upgrade, and it'll start, like, sucking in all the V that it requires, but this would, I guess, continue to create V and be able to supply it to this while it's still upgrading it so hopefully this works looks like it's uh, sucking in some V right now is it it's not even going down there okay so one V two yeah nothing's happened yeah I think I think we're fine I think we're fine okay so you guys remember how big this was last episode or the episode before that whatever episode it was that I was messing around with this uh, purity focus now, whenever this is upgraded to level 3, I guess, I guess we'll see exactly how big this thing is. I wonder if there's any other upgrades down here, because there's only two icons. I wonder if there's any that uh, that I don't have, that I, like, don't have unlocked. I wonder if I have to do something to unlock those, you know? But uh, this seems to be almost done. It's out of, uh, it's already got all the terror it needs. Soaking in all the air and ordo, it looks like. Yeah, it seems like the numbers haven't gone down, but I did get a lot of comments saying that I should not turn it off again that I should just leave it on forever or else maybe something bad would happen to the uh, to the aura note or the energized aura note so I think we'll have to leave this lever permanently turned on for now uh, and forever too unless I want something bad to happen to that aura note and probably have to do the whole wrangling up of aura notes and stuff again like it did like a couple episodes ago and I definitely don't want to do that because it takes a while for all the aura notes to bully each other into like stealing and sucking up all their other aura node V and whatnot aspects, but there you go. Let's see. How big is this now? It's actually uh, oh, I need to recharge this I was using this a little bit before uh, recording to kind of clean up some areas, but Let's start uh, recharging that but there is this area that I've been pointing out quite a few times Over the uh, last few episodes or at least last few times that we've recorded There is this little sliver over here So I might want to try and dig down see if I could find the cave where this taint is and it must be like completely closed in in itself or something because that taint doesn't seem to be spreading outside that little little I don't even know what to call it this little like curve over there so let's go grab this wand we can switch it over to the excavation mode or whatever it's called looks like it's still sucking in some of the aspects yeah suck it in some ordo and it's going to get topped off right about now nice all right also got some comments saying that I should uh Put my hungry node over there by the energy node or energized node. This was before I turned it into an energized node, but uh, I don't think I would. I think I'd rather keep that hungry node as is. I still need to feed it some stuff. I don't think. I think now that we have our wings, our uh, dragon wings, I think that anything we put inside of it, we should be able to out like run the the like this. Maybe I don't know. I'm just barely out flying the thing right there. So I don't know if I want to feed anything else, you know, but uh, let's go over here. Let's get our, what does this do, Perdicio? Yeah, we're not going to be using Perdicio. I think it's Terra and Ordo, but uh, let's start digging down. Let's get the excavation thing. Let's start digging down here. And let's figure out where this cave is and see if we can clean this up and get rid of this little sliver of taint. And I guess hopefully get this area a little bit uh, better rating whenever it comes to the, the jaded whenever they scan our area. Man, how deep is this? Oh, I think we might. Oh, what is this? Is this tainted so Okay, tainted soil. Oh, here we go. Here it is right here. Oh, wait. This is rather strange, rather peculiar. It isn't like a closed cave system. It's like, well, I guess it is. Because this isn't tainted, but... What's over here on this side? Uh... I guess maybe it is. No. Can I break this with the... Uh, oh, I can. It sort of is... Oh, yeah, it is, I guess, and completely enclosed. Look at this. If you guys are... I might have to brighten the video because it is pretty dark, but... Look at that. Clean it up. No problem. <laughs> no problem whatsoever. This is pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Not bad. We might want to go back to the Jaden and rescan this area and see how it looks, but... Uh, oh, 
Chalk infused air, blah, blah, blah. Let's grab that. There you go. Probably should have gone with the silk touch so we can get some more, uh, some more like air shards or whatever, but eh, any shards are good shards, right? Anyways, I, I think, yeah, there's an order no doubt. I don't think it's tainted or else I'd know it, right? But, uh, yeah, I think we're good right now. I don't think there's any more taint down here, but just in case, let's just uh, do a little bit of this. And now I'm kind of tempted to maybe go to like the desert or somewhere that isn't completely clean and test out this this wand and see how good it is at cleaning up stuff. I think I might need to do, uh, do 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 do. There we go. Now you guys can see it's nice and cleaned. That's pretty good. All right. Well, look, uh, looks like a little bit of taint here in the water. Let's see if we can clean this up by detaintifying the sand. Uh, then reset the graphics. Yep, there you go. Okay. Well, look at that. Now we don't have to worry about that little sliver of taint right here. It's completely gone. Finally, finally, finally. So, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, we're up to three. What is, how many levels do you need for the next one? Because I'm curious if we're able to afford it or if I need to go maybe to the mob grinder and grab some of the experience or just kind of go AFK in there while my uh, golems kind of kill everything and kind of get some of the experience. Oh, I got a chain chest plate from that. I can get some steel, I think. Not bad. Oh, I got a, ch a chain helmet too. Ooh, but they are damaged. You don't get, uh, you can't throw damaged stuff inside of the smelter and get, uh, we have to t get, take that off, right? Yeah, there you go. Can't throw like damaged stuff inside of the smeltery and get, uh, get like steel and stuff out of it. So we can put that there. Ooh, three, ooh. Do I want to upgrade it? 16 air, 16 ordo, 16 terra. Uh, or do I want to go frugal? Because I did get the comment, like I said, someone did the math, I think, and said that it's better to just enlarge it all the way. So, hmm. And it would require a little bit of Perdicio Aqua. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to enlarge it, yeah. It's going to require 32 experience points, but... Whew, or 32 levels, actually. Whew. We're going to be down to level 3. You guys remember we've been level 70-something, 80-something for like the whole series, pretty much. We're going to go down. <laughs> We're going to go down, finally. So let's upgrade this. Upgrade this to the maximum that we can afford right now. Of course, there is a, a fifth level right there, which I guess we could enlarge as well. But we don't have enough levels. I assume it's going to be like maybe 48 levels to unlock that or something crazy. So right now with 32 levels, it's slowly sucking in the uh, or, uh, Ordo Terra. And whatever else, let's let's put up some of the extra trash we have in our inventory. Wheat, gunpowder, I'll put that up, I don't care. Put up the dirt, blah blah blah, chest plate bone, coal. Oh yeah, there's a lot of raw beef in there too. <laughs> put up the arrows, brain, literally a brain, putting that up, I don't even care. <laughs> we should probably put the beef up over here. Put it inside the oven, get it like nice and cooked, so I can start actually eating it, you know. Uh, need some sort of fuel, I just put up a little bit of coal. Actually, we have tons of, yeah, we, look at this, we have blocks of charcoal absolute hundreds hundreds if not thousands of blocks of charcoal <laughs> anyways let's go over here we should probably recharge our wand too so we can actually go to the desert and uh, check this out but there we go and let's go check them on the uh the purify focus here on the focal manipulator okay it's about not it's almost done just have to wait a little while how's this doing still three three six three 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 not bad okay Leave a comment if you guys know, if you guys are more experienced, because I did a little bit of reading, couldn't find anything about, like, what these numbers even mean. If I could just sit here and wait for this to just do this, you know, but it said something about, like, square root of, like, the numbers before you energize it or something weird. Like, I, I don't even know what it's trying to say, but it seems like the numbers over here are completely unaffected by the, the focal manipulator over here. So I st if you guys know what these numbers over here mean. Then leave a comment down below and help me out, because I'm kind of curious about that. But uh, either way, this is almost done. And we can go teleport over to the Desert Oasis here in a bit, test it out, and see exactly how good this upgrade is, because this would be one step removed from the best enlarging upgrade for our wand focus, for our uh, purify focus, that is. And now it's almost done. I guess we're just going to wait for a couple more seconds. Come on. And it is done. There we go. Enlarge four. Man. Takes 0.15 ordo, 0.1 terra per cast. So we don't want to use this because the the cleaning area is much bigger. We don't want to like just use it willy nilly, you know. We definitely want to conserve these a little bit. If it cleans up a big square, we don't want to just right click the next square next to it. We want to go all the way over here where it's nice and clean. I guess I'll show you guys that here on camera, so it's a little bit easier to understand. But let's go test out this brand new focus. Get fall down here. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh, I got some comments. Uh. 
I was talking about this comet uh, dog over here, how I should rename it now that I have some levels and, and an anvil and stuff, but it's a little bit too late now. Now I'm only at level three, so maybe I'll have to do that whenever I go back up to level five. Anyways, we're over here in the desert oasis, it's probably the least taint cleaned area in the entire map. And if you guys are wondering why it's doing this weird graphical glitch, it's because of the, uh, the Optified. So, let's see, let's find a nice area. I guess that's... I don't know why I did that. I, I remember doing that, but I don't know why I did it. <laughs> but then let's find a nice big area that we could detain if I... And test out, this seems like a nice area. Let's see, let's go right here on this block. <gasps> oh, no way! No way! One, two, three, four, five blocks. This is 11 by 11, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And assuming that it'd be 11 by, uh, assuming it's a square, it's 11 by 11. So one, two, three, four, five, and then boom, another square, another one. No way. One, two, three, four, five, boom. One, wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, boom. That's basically, I, I'd, I'd say like an ethereal bloom, I, I was about to say like a, uh, whatever it's called. One, two, three, four, five, boom. I was supposed to say Tony and Don, but I don't think it's quite that big, you know? I think it's right here, right? Nope, one more over. God, messed it up a little bit. <laughs> but there you go. Look at that! This is insane, we're cleaning all this up. Oh man, it's taking up a lot of uh, stuff. You can see there on the top right corner. Actually, uh, how do I show that? How do I show the numbers again? The N? I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, it's zero, isn't it? Oh, wait, oh, whoops. Uh, no, this just shows you where the... Oh, yeah, this would have been helpful. Yeah, I should have used this whenever I was looking for the aura node. Man, I forgot about zero. <laughs> Someone told me that uh, like, oh, probably a hundred episodes ago, saying that's where I could find aura nodes and stuff, but whoopsie daisy, forgot about that, but I suppose that could be pretty useful here, or pretty handy. I know I get comments saying, say, stop saying pretty useful, <laughs> but uh, I know it'd be pretty handy here in the future. Whenever it comes to, uh, you know, possibly getting a better energized node or maybe getting a more aura node for our area, but look at this! I'm cleaning this area up! I'm going to clean- oh wait! Oh, shift! There you go. Yeah, we're down to about 100 or so V per thing there, so that's pretty uh, insane, but look at this! I'm just clicking, I'm not holding it down. I'm cleaning this area up at an insane rate right now. Now, of course, I- oh, there you go, I'm out. But look at that! I cleaned all that up with one charge of the wand! So big you can even see it from the minimap! Look at that! Oh man, look at this area over here with the, with the ethereal blooms! That's nothing compared to this area! Jeez! Anyways, I think I'm going to end the episode right there! We got a lot of good progress done! Not, not too much on this episode, but a lot of it between this episode and last episode. With the detainifying, I'm going to have to get more, uh, more jars of V and get back in the, in the ship. I think the ship is, uh, down here somewhere, right? Yep, there it is right there. So I'm going to go back over there and continue the detainifying progress. What do you guys think about the detainifying progress that I've done uh, since last episode? I think it's the most I've ever done between episodes. So I'm kind of proud about that. Uh, maybe I'm, between this episode and next episode, I'll get this whole like little peninsula over here nice and cleaned up. And uh, we'll scan the area and see how we're doing on the progress. Wait, what's happening over here? That's like a graphical glitch. I don't think that's actually... <laughs> I don't think that's actually like getting retainified, is it? I don't think it is. But what do you guys think? I think I think we're slowly but surely getting much closer and closer. I had to manually uh, clean up that, by the way. We're slowly getting much closer and closer to, like, purifying the whole entire planet. It's weird to say, you know, but we are. And oh, here's that village, by the way. I don't think there's any villagers over here, unfortunately. I think they might all be either dead or tainted or... Well, if they got tainted, I'd probably kill them, so they're probably dead, too. <laughs> but look at this! Ooh, there's an abandoned mine down here. Now that this area is completely cleaned up, we can explore that abandoned mine and stuff here in the future. But anyways, like I was saying, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out, so you don't miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I will see you guys here next time with some more Blyfall, where we're going to get much closer to purifying the planet and possibly laying down some colonies. I know you have to 100% the planet before you can do that, but man, it's going to be so surreal once we do that. That means it is the end of the series once we do that, once we finally get some colonies down here and make this place actually habitable. So that's going to be so cool. This whole entire series has been working up to getting this place nice and habited, 
exploring around, learning about the planet, and then making it colonized. You know, that, that's basically the whole point of the series. So that's going to be really, really cool once we do that. So thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Blightfall. Oh, by there. Oh, and maybe we'll do the uh, Ritual of Gaia, too, before we end the series, too. So I know a lot of you guys want me to do that. So definitely look forward to that. But until then, I'll see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there. <laughs>